In this short tutorial, you will learn how to fix a Samsung phone not detected by PC. Sometimes, when you connect your phone to the computer using a USB cable, it does not show up. This can be frustrating, but don't worry, I will go through some simple steps to help solve this problem. First things first, let's understand what's happening when you connect your Samsung phone to your computer. If it shows USB charging but doesn't allow for file transfers, that means the connection is only set up for charging. To fix this issue, start by swiping down from the top of your screen. Here, you'll see notifications related to USB options. As indicated here, it says, USB charging. This means that currently, your device is not set up for data transfer. Tap on, USB charging. You'll notice an option appears again, tap on it once more to explore other USB options. Now look for the section called, Use USB 4. It's likely set to charging phone only right now. To change this setting and enable data transfer, simply tap and select, transferring files slash Android Auto. This should give your PC access to storage on your Samsung phone and resolve the detection issue. If changing these settings doesn't work immediately, try restarting both devices. Sometimes a quick reboot can do wonders for refreshing connections. If it's still not working, check those physical connections next. Start by unplugging your cable from its current port and try connecting it to another USB port on your computer. If switching ports didn't help either, consider testing with another USB cable altogether. Keep in mind that not all cables support data transfer, some are designed solely for charging. For instance, if you've experienced similar issues before like many others have, investing in a quality cable that supports both charging and data transfer could be key. After switching cables myself, I found my problem resolved quickly. So there you have it. By adjusting settings on your Samsung phone, restarting devices, and checking ports and cables, you can troubleshoot why your device isn't being detected by your PC effectively. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.